<sighs> the old Victorian house stood at the end of the narrow, winding road, shrouded in mist. Its windows were broken, and the paint was peeling, revealing the weathered wood beneath. It had been abandoned for decades, rumored to be cursed after a series of tragic events had unfolded within its walls. I had heard the stories, but I was drawn to the house's eerie charm. One chilly autumn evening, fueled by a mix of curiosity and a dare from my friends, I decided to explore the decrepit mansion alone. The moment I crossed the threshold, a bone-chilling cold enveloped me. The air seemed to whisper with faint echoes of laughter and whispers long gone. As I ventured further inside, the floorboards creaked beneath my feet, and the walls seemed to close in, pressing against me. I pulled out my flashlight, its weak beam cutting through the suffocating darkness. The rooms were filled with remnants of lives once lived, a broken rocking chair, dusty books, and faded photographs. In the grand ballroom, a decaying chandelier hung from the ceiling, swaying gently as if moved by an invisible hand. The air grew thicker, suffused with an unsettling energy. I had the sensation of being watched, as if a thousand eyes were upon me. Shadows danced at the corners of my vision, and a soft, mournful melody drifted from somewhere deep within the house. I followed the haunting melody, winding my way through the corridors until I reached a door that seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly aura. Hesitant but driven by an inexplicable compulsion, I pushed the door open. The room beyond was bathed in an eerie blue light, illuminating the figure of a woman standing by the window. Her gown was tattered and gray, as if trapped in a timeless loop of despair. She turned to me, her face a ghostly visage of sorrow. Her eyes held an intensity that bore into my very soul, and her voice, a mere whisper, echoed in my mind. Help! I stumbled back, heart pounding. The woman's gaze never left me, and her voice grew louder, a plea that seemed to come from beyond the grave. Images flashed before my eyes, visions of a tragedy that had befallen her, of a love lost and a life cut short. I should have run but a mix of sympathy and terror kept me rooted to the spot. With each passing moment, the room grew colder, the walls seeming to close in as if to trap me in this spectral space. The woman's voice grew more urgent, a mournful wail that reverberated in my very bones. As the room seemed to contract around me, I finally broke free from the spell. I turned and fled, the melody of her despair echoing in my ears. The house itself seemed to protest my escape, its walls groaning and shifting as if alive. But I burst through the front door, gasping for air as I stumbled onto the overgrown lawn. The moon hung high in the sky, casting an ethereal glow over the dilapidated mansion. I never looked back, my heart still racing as I put distance between myself and that cursed place. Even now, the haunting melody and the tormented eyes of the woman linger in my memory. A reminder that some secrets are best left undisturbed. So if you ever come across an abandoned house with a history of tragedy, heed my warning. Curiosity may lead you to the brink of the supernatural, where the past lingers like a specter, waiting to ensnare the unwary in its chilling embrace.